Welcome everybody to the Grand Large 310 from Dufour Yachts. This is the smallest boat uh, that we ever made since the last 20 years and uh, was uh, one of the most complicated projects that we ever approached because um, trying to fit all the details of our um, range of uh, boats which is starting from the 56 in the smallest one was really a big challenge and I will guide you through all the details just to prove that this is as good as the bigger one but just slightly smaller. We can start immediately from the transom and we can see that uh, we don't miss a proper transom even if it's a small boat with a special, special locker for the life raft underneath and uh, two accessible boxes which are uh, watertight on the two sides. We can also add extra seats that are optional uh, for the helmsman. As you can see, like on the 350, uh, the 310 is a backless stay boat. What does it mean? It means that you don't have the problem of having the typical backstay which is touching your head when you're steering the boat. So you have a much more freedom when you're sailing and when you're enjoying the time inside the boat. Secondly, uh, this is a 31 feet boat with a double steering. So by having a double steering, you can see that you maximize the passage and you really have the same advantage of a bigger boat into the smallest possible boat we have in our range. On uh, the starboard side, we have a very spacious locker, which is going full depth because the boat has two cabin and one head. So we can really fit everything we need, even for long distance cruising on this uh, uh, locker. The other one, on the other side, we don't have a locker because then we can maximize uh, the cabin space and have really more headroom inside. As uh, the other model, this is uh, a Grand Large that replicates the design and the signature of uh, the celebration of the Arpege. So we have this new deck style with a double volume and uh, with the intention of maximizing the lights inside. That's why we have uh, after fixed edges that brings natural lights to the cabin, as well as a um, wide uh, uh, fixed edge in the front uh, to give more light to the front cabin. Said that we can have um, the mainsail which can be fitted either to the coach roof or to the cockpit floor and at the same time in both cases we can take out the purchase system as in this case and fit it on the side to completely clear the cockpit area. So really here we have um, space that it's not affected by any lines and can be really enjoyed when you are uh, moored and anchored. Going forward on the, even in a small boats like this one, we tried to maximize the, cockpit, the sideways in order to have an easy passage along the boat and to keep it as safe as possible. Reaching the front of the boat, we can see that we have a very big cockpit uh, anchor locker that can either be used on, not only for the anchor and for the chain, but also for the fenders. And uh, we have uh, integrated a self-tucking Genoa, like on all the other models, with a taller mast. By doing this, as we said, uh, even in the previous presentation of other models, we are literally having the same performance uh, with less effort in terms of maneuvering because the self-tucking as we know is passing from one side to the other only by the pressure of the wind so you don't need to do anything but the, the sail is actually doing everything on its own according to your according of how you're using it same as in the all other Grand Large we put the attention on the boom height the boom height is very important because you need to pack your mainsail, you need to take a reef, you need to do some maneuvers. And here you can pack all the sails without having the boom to be higher. And this is extra sail area, first of all. And secondly, it's really simpler and easier to handle. So uh, this is really a Grand Large, which has all the same features that you can find on the bigger one, but just uh, on a smaller scale. So now it's time to go down below and to realize that even down below we have a big boat into the smallest one. 
So we are on board the smallest uh, Grand Large of the Dufour range, and, um, but probably the most uh, sophisticated one, I would say. Um, we start immediately from uh, one of the unique propositions of this boat, which is the possibility of having two proper cabins on a 9-meter boat. Um, the front cabin can have a double bed that I just pass in front of the camera, can be easily transformed in order to have more space into a much more convivial space by simply doing these two movements and the bulkhead is put it on the side this one is put on the side and we open up the space in order to maximize the volume and the convivial area of this boat. So this one is transforming and commuting a cabin into an open space that uh, has all the advantage of being able to accommodate more guests or to better enjoy the interior of this boat, which is still a nine meter boat, but looks much bigger. As we can see, we decided to go for a traditional chart table fixed but this uh, uh, sofa is 2.05 meter long that can be transformed into what we call the, the fifth berth because it's wide enough to be able to be a bed. So um, in reality, even if it's uh, nine meter only, we can actually fit uh, more than four guests. All the details that uh, were developed and designed on these boats can be refounded on the bigger range. As you can see, we try to pay attention to the ergonomy of, uh, of, the, um, of the boat and the general layout and, and flow around the boat. So we try to avoid any sharp corner and we have extended uh, uh, curved surface like the table or massive wood between the chart table and the galley. The galley has nothing to, to lose compared to a bigger boat because we can have a proper fridge with multiple boxes and a big sink. We decided to have a double drawer in order to really fully exploit the space available plus, plus uh, on top of that some extra shelves uh, that are always uh, handy to have and the boat can be and can have um, an oven and uh, two burners. Thinking still about the details, even if it's a small boat, we don't uh, forget about uh, the typical fully uh, exploitation of space and functionality. So even the little 310 has the possibility to have uh, bottles under the bilge and uh, other very functional space like uh, the table with the sliding drawers for extra storage space in the back and in the front. The boat is coming with a fixed uh, two uh, cabin version and one head and the one head uh, has um, uh, a sort of a separated compartment where we can uh, fit uh, and uh, hang uh, all the oil skin and uh, it's certainly a very handy solution when you come down you're all wet you just enter into the shower you get changed and then you can leave inside uh, the cabin on this uh, the aft cabin which is the master cabin has a two meter bed longitudinally and transversal transversely up to 1 meter 85 so for some owners can be also handy to sleep transversely and as you can see there are lots of uh, uh, fixed edges or opening edges that allows ventilation and sense of space even on a, on a small boat like this one. Last details that uh, we never forget about is the accessibility to the engine room. We have an access on, the, on each side, plus a frontal access that can allow the owner or the 
service guy to double check and uh, perfectly control all the pipes and the filters for the engine. So this is literally all and uh, as you can see we, try, we tried really to fit uh, all the details of the bigger Grand Large into the smallest possible uh, boat we could uh, achieve and uh, has been an incredible success. So our guided tour it's finished inside the 310. We hope you appreciate that and we hope that uh, you really understand that uh, an effortless approach with the performance and with uh, a unique sense of space on a 30 feet, uh, it's, really what, um, uh, it's really the key feature of this uh, little new Grand Large that is certainly a pleasure to sail. Thank you very much to everyone.